hello everyone hope all of you are doing well so today i come again with a new topic in success factors uh, as you already seen from the thumbnail uh, our today's points of discussion is on floating holidays but uh, before starting the uh, discussion today uh, i like to request everyone please pause the video hit the red subscriber button so that if i upload any new video you will get the notification soonest and you also you can check uh, my previous uploads video uh, already the playlist is given in the top right corner you can see it from there and i hope those videos also will help you in to understand different topics and success factors so uh, let's start now uh, with today's topic first of all uh, one question comes to our mind what do we mean by floating holidays so floating holidays is nothing but uh, one kind of uh, holiday it is also if the holiday is not fixed to a specific date and if that can be changed based on the organization or any authority's declaration then we can call that kind of holiday as a floating holiday or optional holiday so what is the example of that so um, if we just uh, check about the fixed uh, us as usual holidays like uh, one example i have given here new year day that is the first gen 2018 of everywhere uh, year of 2018 as well so that date is fixed that is the, uh, that cannot be changed in any year so that kind of holiday is called fixed holiday but suppose i have uh, another kind of holiday in my organization and that takes uh, date is not fixed yet it can be uh, based on organization's uh, declaration of or any authority's declaration it can be on 1st of october 2018 for an example or it can be the next day as well the 2nd of october 2018 so uh, we get is not fixed at the starting of the year so this kind of holiday is called floating holidays now the question is uh, from the view perspective how we can understand this is fixed holiday and what is floating holiday and what are the basic difference uh, or uh, what are the basic impact of those when you are going to apply for a leave so first uh, i have taken this screenshot from ess view that is employee self service view as you see in the fixed holiday uh, if uh, any day is marked as a uh, fixed holiday in our holiday calendar then that day in uh, in the calendar you can see one aesthetic marks is coming in on that particular day and the sale as well comes as gray okay but for floating holiday for that one also the aesthetics are coming at the uh, top of that uh, particular date we can see but it is not gray so looking point of view we can find if it is not gray out that is that means we have declared that as a floating holiday and how we need to be configured will come later when the video will progress and another basic difference is um, if one holiday is declared as a fixed holiday in the holiday calendar then automatically there is one uh, validation rules triggered by the system if some uh, employee wants to apply for a leave on that particular fixed holiday system will throw an error you cannot apply for a leave for this particular holiday uh, particular date because it is a fixed holiday or it is marked as holiday in the holiday calendar but we can apply for a leave for a floating uh, quota so that is the basic difference between these two now if we come to the configuration part then the first step uh, in the configuration is we need to create one holiday calendar and the important point need to be noted here it is very important please uh, refer this point for floating holiday the holiday class need to be none if we uh, going to create any holiday calendar uh, uh, or any holiday uh, in success factor then we can see there are three options are coming in the holiday class one is full full day holiday or half day holiday and another is none so for floating holidays we need to select as none if we select as none then the system defined validation rules that you cannot apply for this date because it is already a holiday that kind of validation will not come when we are going to apply for a leave for that particular floating holiday 
then step two is we have to create one time account type or quota for floating holidays and in the in the time account type we, uh, the important points need to be noted the type should be recurring account uh, accrual frequency should be annual that means the accrual rule need to be triggered only once in a year and the third important point is we need to create one accrual rule so that that rule can post the balance by counting the number of floating holidays from the holiday calendar that means in, if in our holiday calendar there are three floating holidays uh, we have maintained then this rule will count uh, will refer that holiday calendar and put the balance the initial balance in the floating uh, holiday calendar code quota now step three that is we need to create one time type for floating holidays and in that time type the important point to be noted here whatever the previous uh, time account type we have created for the floating holiday that need to be assigned in this time type that is point one and point two we need to create one take rule so that that take rule can restrict employee to apply for leave on that particular dates except floating holidays that means whatever uh, we have maintained as a floating holiday in the holiday calendar except those dates employee cannot apply for a leave on this floating holiday quota that kind of take tool we need to apply here so uh, thanks to one sp kba that is the kba number is two five trip uh, four times two seven uh, this kb actually helps me a lot on uh, building this take rule so you can refer this kb as well so now let's go to the system and check how this configuration can be done so uh, we logged into the system right now and uh, first thing we uh, come here in the manage data to the holiday calendar so as per step one we need to create first one uh, holiday calendar i already created one holiday calendar so what exactly we need to do for floating holiday here we need to maintain some floating holiday dates in this holiday calendar first so uh, uh, as per example as i already showed you uh, earlier in that uh, deck uh, first and second october these two dates we are picking up as the floating holidays and as i told uh, what is the most important point in floating holiday uh, holiday maintaining purpose the holiday class that should be none and here i already created on uh, floating holiday that is uh, floating holiday one and another date we need to maintain that is uh, 2nd of october again the holiday class should be none this is floating holiday two so these two floating holidays we have maintained in this holiday calendar now uh, point two we need to maintain one time account type for the floating holidays to create the floating holiday quota uh, okay let's uh, create it from scratch time account type create new time account type and uh, here we need to create one time account type uh, for the floating holidays so i'm putting the name as uh, floating holiday time account type tty and the external code i'm putting here float float holiday tty uh, that is the external code i'm putting here um and uh, the unit i'm putting here as days uh, account creation type i'm putting here as recurring that is very important point as well because everywhere uh, based on the 
dynamic floating related dates that can be changed so we cannot create any permanent uh, time account type or quota for floating holidays so we need to create it as a recurring now when you put the recurring account booking offset is we need to set as well i'm putting as a zero account uh, creation start date i'm putting at account valid from date that is uh, the account creation start date should be and uh, now account creation automation uh, i am putting uh, for testing purpose because if i put it as account creation uh, automatic at account creation then uh, i cannot show you uh, at this point of time though that's why i am putting as uh, no automation but based on your requirement you can choose whatever the option you need to choose there period and processing floating holiday i know uh, no need there is uh, any carry forwarding anything so uh, i'm not uh, putting any period uh, processing rule as well and putting it as no automation as well account valid from date putting as first day of the first month booking offset uh, for months i'm putting as zero uh, now account creation date we have already putting uh, period and processing rule no need to process anything and uh, account frequency that uh, i am I need to put as annual because only once in a year we need to run this rule that's it and entitlement method entitlement as account that is fine uh, simulation should be no and uh, now and balance cannot fall below i'm just setting a zero by default also it will take zero as well so no worry about that and now account uh, accrual rule we need to set one accrual rule so let's create another accrual rule and uh, try to apply this accrual rule in this time account type creation so opening a new tab we need to create an, a new rule here and the scenario we need to choose that is accrual accrual rule we have chosen uh, let's put the rule name as ACC here oh, uh, that is the name uh, start date uh, one 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 nine zero zero fine let's continue so here so what is our objective of this business rule as you see uh, already we have created uh, uh, we have created two floating holidays so the objective of our accrual rule should be it will refer these employees holiday calendar and it will give the count how many floating holidays are there and that uh, count will be posted as a balance as a initial balance of employees floating holiday quota that is our objective to write in the business rule so here uh, in the if clause we are putting uh, if the employee is active that means this rule will be applicable for the active employees only so active status we can find from employees job information employee status is equal to value active then we need to create one quota create time account details so what should be the posting date of this quota so posting date we can put as account valid from so based on your requirement that can be changed as well so you can choose as per your requirement in that case uh, external code for external code we need to choose one function get uh, general external code for time off so it will give you the external code for these uh, time account details this quota and posting type posting type uh, we can choose is as accrual and posting unit we can choose from our time account type we have set this uh, posting unit right so from there we can choose that unit whatever we have set as 
days or hours or whatever it is that will uh, that will be the posting unit of this time on quota now the most important thing is the amount how we can calculate how many uh, floating holidays there in our holiday calendar to calculate that we need to use one function here and that is the cardinality so if you choose uh, this function these will return or calculate the number of instances so what do you mean by number of instances here we need to choose uh, user job information holiday calendar because holiday calendar is assigned to employees job information that's why you're looking into the employees job information then holiday assignments so we need to choose how many instances are there in the employees holiday calendar that have the holiday classes none if we get that count that means that number of uh, floating holidays are maintained in employees uh, holiday calendar so that's why uh, here in the where clause option we are putting holiday class is equals to value none so this part will return me how many uh, holiday class uh, um, holidays are maintained with a holiday class with value as none so that means that uh, number of floating holidays are maintained in employees uh, holiday calendar so saving this rule now and we have to apply this rule in the time account type here in April rule also recruit rule or hire rule as well we can apply the same now saving it actual based on okay we need to choose the actual based on as well i'm choosing a standard not the recorded times save it yes no need for termination rule at this moment so our time account type is ready now we need to create the time type now so let's put the external name as floating holiday type let's copy the same and use as uh, the external code as well let's put the basic details here unit is day classification is absence that is absolutely fine uh, absence class not specified counting method we are not specifying for this scenario permitted fractions for unit day we have to choose it and we are choosing it only full day booking allowed and here time account uh, posting rules uh, within time account posting rules the time account type we have to assign that is floating holiday tty that we just created let's put the external code as ec1 any unique value that is and tick rule so we need to create uh, an, another tech rule for here so let's go to business rules again create new rule choose the scenario as basic because we want to put the base object here by ourselves So we are putting the rule name as uh, take rule floating 
and the base object we have to choose for take over that is employee time let's continue the time start date is equal to look up of a holiday assignment where a date of holiday that means we are trying to means check whether employee is going to apply for the date which is uh, set as floating holiday or not so here date of holiday if equals to employees uh, start date of leave of absence where uh, holiday assignment holiday class is equals to value none and date of holiday is uh, employee time started so it will pick up that particular date that employee is uh, applying for a leave and also it will check if the holiday class is equals to none or not if this condition satisfied then we have to uh, is not equals to that means if this uh, condition is satisfied that means what employee is going to apply that doesn't belongs to this uh, holiday class uh, equals to none and uh, that particular day also maintained uh, as a uh, holiday in the holiday calendar then one error message we need to trigger here that is you cannot apply for these leave except floating holidays so that kind of error message we can trigger from here and we can set the security as error now let's save this take rule floating uh, holiday time type let's put the external code ec2 and save that time type so uh, our time account type uh, is ready our holiday calendar is also ready time type is also ready along with the take rule and accrual rule as well now it's uh, we have to assign this uh, time type to a particular time profile Floating holiday type we have assigned enabled in the employee sales service scenario yes provide time type yes and set the external code it's uh, so it's now time for testing uh, so for testing purpose we have already created one employee test emp So uh, we have come to that employee's uh, ESS view right now by boxing that employee test EMP4. So as you see, uh, floating holiday type that quota is now available for that employee because we have already assigned that floating time type into employee's uh, time profile and assigned the time profile to that employee's job information. That's why this quota is uh, is now available for this employee. But there is no balance show uh, show populate here. So uh, we first need to run the accrual rule mean uh, time account um, uh, time of calendar and then those value uh, balances should populate here so let's run the uh, time of calendar first so uh, here in uh, manage time of calendars we need to create the uh, calendar uh, for our uh, 
required uh, floating holidays let's put the name as uh, floating time account type we need to choose that floating holiday tty uh, start date we are choosing 1st jan 2018 and end date the 31st december of 2018 and save it creating the calendar so calendar is now created here you see now let's run the calendar so it is running right now maybe it will take a couple of minutes so it is uh, finished uh, means calendar execution is already completed so you can see the result that uh, two days are added in the floating holiday type this uh, quota so our accrual is working fine uh, we can uh, confirm that now uh, it's time to test that uh, take rule so as i already told it the initial point of this video the starting of this video when uh, the floating holidays are displayed in ess view you can see that uh, asterisk marks and the sales are uh, not gray white that means you can apply for a leave for these floating holidays but if it is a fixed holiday like uh, if i go to uh, one fixed holiday called uh, first yeah you can see here memorial day one uh, fixed holiday the sale is gray that means the system standard validation rules are working in behind of that if i try to choose these uh, 28th of may the fixed holiday uh, to apply for a leave system with an error you cannot apply for a leave because this is a holiday as per the holiday calendar but in case of uh, floating holidays we can apply for a leave for those because we have marked the holiday class as none so let's test, uh, test our uh, take rule here apart from these two days if i try to apply for leave uh, let's choose the floating holiday quota first i have chosen the floating holiday quota here and i try to apply for a leave in some different date like uh, 3rd october when i try to apply that uh, you can see one uh, error message is uh, coming here you cannot take uh, apple uh, you cannot take or apply for these leave except uh, floating holidays so our take rule is uh, working fine as well so let's uh, try to apply for a leave first of october which is a floating holiday so as uh, as per that there is no error message is coming so our tech tool is also working fine you can say so this is how we can uh, manage floating holidays now uh, we you can assign one uh, work as well uh, in these time types so that um, uh, as per organization now suppose organization is, uh, is declaring the first of october should be the holiday second of october should not be then we can you can apply that uh, holiday as per first of october and that will uh, trigger to your manager and if the manager uh, or what about the approval of that particular workflow they approve then you can avail that leave uh, so this is how you can manage the floating holidays uh, in success factor so hope you enjoy this video and a new thing you have learned today uh, so keep watching and happy learning thank you thanks a lot bye bye